Hi everyone, my name is Darren and today we're going to talk about how to create a simple UDP server and client in C. Now you see we've already got a simple template file here with all our includes that we'll need for the various types and functions that we'll be using uh, and basic main. So to get started we'll create a string to send across the network uh, in our UDP packet. So that'll be just a hello, a simple hello um, to the server. And we'll also create our SOC address uh, server object, which is where we'll be sending it to. Oh, there we go. Uh, and we'll put it in um, this, this curly brace zero. What this does is it loads this struct on the stack, but it already zeroes it for us. And this saves us from having to do a mem set later on. Uh, next up, we'll create our socket object. Now we're going to be sending this over IPv4, so that's the AF underscore INET. Uh, and because we're sending a UDP packet, that's a socket dgram. Protocol is zero, so let the computer figure out that uh, it needs to be a UDP packet. Uh, and that is uh, in the man page for a UDP packet rather than protocol 17. Um, Next up, some quick error handling. Socket D equals minus one. So socket returns minus one on fail, so that's why we'll do that. We'll just put a quick P error in here. Uh, failed to create socket. Uh, and we'll exit there as well. With exit underscore failure. Uh, and this is just a quick macro to tell, uh, to set the return code essentially. Uh, next up, let's set the uh, destination requirements. So vada dot sin underscore family. So this is going to be another IPv4 declaration, and then uh, uh, this would be the port. Uh, so this is going to be a bit interesting. This is we have to do a H2NS here, and what this does is um, changes the host to network byte order of this. This here's short. Well, it's, a, it's the size of a short, but it's an integer. Uh, and since we're running on x86 PC, we're a little endian here. But when you send something over the network, it has to be in big endian, hence the H2NS. Uh, and finally, uh, we have to tell the computer where to send it. So that we sin s and that is just going to be in address underscore any because we don't. We just want to send it out the default interface. So that's the equivalent of just setting it to that. Uh, with that done, let's send our send our string. So we're going to do an int len equals send to, and uh, this will be the sock fd that we just created, the socket file descriptor, uh, followed by our hello. But for the hello, uh, we have to do a const uh, char star because we don't want it to be modified by the um, send to um, function. Uh, the size of it, sterling hello. Uh, we don't want to set any flags, so it's a zero. Um, then we have the server address, and this is another const struct socket. And then ampersand server. Uh, and that's the destination we'll be sending it to, and obviously, following that is the size of that object server. So now it's just off frame there, so semicolon, and that is done. Uh, some quick error handling. If len is minus one, then that is a, a fail. Well, let's tab it out for us. Let's take this back. Scroll down a bit. Okay, we'll do a quick p error here as well. Failed to ascend. And then a quick, um, we don't actually need to exit here because uh, we want to make sure we close the socket since we've already created it. So we'll do a close there at the end. And uh, that should be all there is to it. So we'll save that and uh, open up a quick terminal. And uh, we've got our GC CC client. And there we go, it compiles perfectly. Uh, so next step now will be let's create the server. In our server.c file, we've got another standard template file with all our includes. 
And the first thing we'll do here uh, is create a buffer to store the incoming message in, and we'll make that about size 50, and zero that. Uh, we'll create our struct uh, to hold our address information. Zero that. We'll then create our socket. And this will be much the same as before. AF underscore INET soc underscore dgram and protocol zero. Uh, basic error handling soc fd error failed to create socket and exit there. Okay, now that's done. Let's create our addressing information. Again, much the same as before. AF underscore INAT. H2NS, my favorite port. And this will be our in address, any again. Okay, next up we need to actually bind our socket to this address or to this port. So we'll bind our SOCFD uh, to the server address, which is going to be const struct soc adder. That's our casting there. And on the new line here, we'll just do a size of that done we'll just check our return code peer failed to bind and here's slightly different so we actually want to close the socket that we created earlier uh, because we should always follow close file handles uh, and then we'll exit again And now it looks like we're ready to do the receive. So we'll do a socln underscore t equals len, not equals zero rather. And let's do this receive from in n equals receive from. And that'll be our socfd, uh, the buffer in which to store the data. And the size, so it's 50. We want message underscore wait all as our flag, and that means we'll be waiting until the whole message is received before we return. And we're going to leave this as zero, the client address. Uh, we don't really, in this example, we don't really care about the client's information, so we'll just leave that as null. And then the end len on the end there. So in the uh, in the client.c, we didn't bother putting a new line character on the end of it, so we'll just do that here. Let's just make it uh, easier to print and look a bit nicer. And finally, we want to uh, printf that string buffer. And at the very end, we need to close this socket. There we have, save, and let's see if it compiles. So we'll go gcc server.c and we'll name this server. Uh, so it's a bit different from the a.out over here. There we go. And let's give it a run. So we'll start the server first because it'll be listening. And let's give the client a go. And there we have, hello from client. And that's your first UDP client and server all finished.